Hey guys, it's Billy C. Welcome back to the channel. So last week I made a video going over all of my bets from January to midpoint of June with Odds Jam, over 4,000 bets that I made. We talked about money lines, spreads, over-unders, where I was successful, where I'm going to continue to keep betting. And then I talked about player prop bets because I hadn't been doing a really good job. I've been losing money on player prop bets. Well, in this video, we're going to peel back the curtain and take a look at my player prop bets. So if you like to bet player prop bets, you're going to want to check this video out. It's going to be really helpful for you guys moving forward. And I'm going to explain to you probably why I'm not going to be betting player prop bets for the rest of this year. So come on, let's go check it out. Wait a minute. Not so fast, right? Before we actually get into the good stuff, if you like this type of content, guys, smash that thumbs up button. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss the next time that I drop a video. Um, you know, if you like this type of content, guys, leave a comment. And if you want to see other types of areas in gambling that I talk about, then leave a comment too. And if you don't like this and you think it's crap, well, then tell me. I want to know, right? Hit me up on Twitter if you have any questions also. DMs are always open. I'm happy to help you out. This is what I do every day, guys. I love to talk about sports betting, my personal experiences. Um, and I'm trying to help you guys make money too and explain to you exactly what's going on and really get into the details like what we're about to do here in a few seconds. So come on, let's actually go dive into the numbers. All right, so here we are. As you can see, last video, you know, money line spreads, totals, over-unders did very well in. You know, I kind of broke down the first half, uh, whether it was basketball or baseball, kind of how I wouldn't just bet the NBA. We would have made a lot of money in college basketball. We just exclude the basketball first half, so we make a lot of money. But player prop bets was a real bugaboo. So now we're going to go into each sport and I'm going to show you, you know, which ones worked for me, which ones didn't work. First up, NFL player props only had 21 bets, but made $577.61. Now, you know, that's a really small sample size. So when the NFL comes around this fall, I will be placing some wagers on player prop bets in the NFL. It's it's just too small. I need to have at least over 100 bets for me to have a little better idea of what's going on. Obviously, there won't be as many opportunities with the NFL as, let's say, baseball or the NBA because there's less games. There's less opportunities, guys. There's 82 games in the NBA. There's 162 games in MLB. There's only 17 weeks of the football season. So you don't have a ton of opportunities with NFL. So we're going to continue to bet player prop bets with the NFL starting this fall, and I'm going to continue to track it. Okay, same with the NHL. I made 83 bets, made 177 bucks. Now, also, guys, remember with player prop bets, I am severely limited on a lot of sports books. So, you know, that's that's why the NHL looks kind of, eh. I mean, yeah, I made money, but it wasn't a lot of money for the amount of bets that I put down. That's because certain books only made me let me put down 10 to 15, 20 dollars. So, um, typically, you know, if I had a lot more bets, if I could place more, you know, you would see either a higher profit or higher loss, but NHL, I'm kind of meh on, to be honest with you, it's fine. Um, there's more bets than the NFL, but you know, we'll make some bets here or there with the NHL, but I'm probably not going to go too crazy with them. 550 bets I placed. I lost almost $2,100. So as you can see out of the three sports so far, not very good on the NBA, really, really bad. And 550 bets is a lot for me, in my opinion. I think that's a large enough sample size where I could say, hmm, maybe I shouldn't bet the NBA. So what I did is I did a deeper dive in the NBA. Let's check it out. So the first thing I did was I looked at all the plays that were under 1.5% EV. And I wanted to kind of look at EV first from a percentage. 189 bets lost 726 bucks. So right there, that tells me anything that's under 1.5% EV I shouldn't bet it on the NBA, but wait, there's more. Anything over one and a half percent EV. I made 361 bets. I lost $1,300. So that's a pretty decent sample size. 360 bets over one and a half percent EV for player props. No bueno. And for the sake of time, the NBA just sucked all around over 2%, 244 bets. I lost $766. Maybe over two and a half percent. Ah, 175 bets lost $1,900. Over 3%, 130 bets lost $1,800. So we come to the conclusion I am not going to be betting NBA player prop bets. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not going to play the occasional prize picks or underdog fantasy for sure, but I'm not looking at player props in the NBA as my main source of income for betting 
come up this fall. It's just not, I'm not doing it. Now, I didn't stop there with the NBA. I wanted to find out each category. So player assists, 136 bets, lost 672 bucks. Player made threes, holy smokes, for only 30 bets to lose 1,600 on only 30 bets. I mean, you want to talk about starting out cold. That's just terrible. And then player points, I mean, lose 2,500 bucks off almost 200 bets. But then it's interesting. Player rebounds, points, rebounds, and assists. I made money, 81 bets, 1,400 bucks. Rebounds, 110 bets, made $1,100. Now, guys, this is this is where I want you to leave a comment, if K. But I am. This doesn't mean I don't look at these individual statistics here and say, "Oh, assist made threes and points." I won't bet them. But maybe, maybe Pinnacle's really sharp on rebounds, points, rebounds, and assists. No, no. I I just think this is kind of an aberration. Um, I don't. I think this is just how the story un, unfolded in the 2022-2023 NBA betting season for old Billy C here. So. When I go into the next NBA season and I see a rebound player, a points, rebounds, assist bet, I'm not going to bet that because I just think this is just kind of fluky. I don't um, – where I do put more value in is on the EV percentages. And as you can see, I, there's, not, there's not like – I was really hoping to see, oh, maybe over 2% EV, it was positive, right? So we just bet over 2%, but it all stunk. So we're just not going to touch it. And then lastly, Major League Baseball, which currently we're about at the halfway point of the season right now. Placed 280 bets, lost 1000 bucks. right? Um, this is where it gets interesting, though. Anything that was under 1.5% EV, only 63 bets. That's a smaller sample size, but I lost terribly. $1,600 I lost, almost 1700 bucks. But when we get over the 1.5% range to 2.5% here for baseball, Things started to turn up roses for us. 200 bets on over 1.5% EV plays, we made 560. Over 2%, 171 bets, we made almost 1,000 bucks. And same with the 2.5%. So um, unlike the NBA, I am going to possibly dip my toes into the MLB player prop bets. I'm going to go with over 2% EV. So if it has a 2% EV edge or higher for MLB player prop bets, I'm going to bet it. And then I'm going to come back and look at these numbers later. Similar to the NBA, I also took a look at just all my props and player bases, you know, small sample size, especially with earned runs and hits. These are all really small. Um, <laughs> I mean, though, six bets with earned runs. That's like, wow. There's a couple of these like player made threes and earned runs. You're just like, wow. But, um, you know, hits allowed, player outs, no bueno. But player strikeouts, pretty good sample size here. 211 bets. I made 700 bucks. So um, that is something where maybe if I see a player strikeout bet that's over 2% EV, I'm going to bet that. I'm going to bet that. Um, I think this is one area. Now, I put a lot more stock into the EV, right? So we talked about the NBA and how I just stunk on the EV percentages, but I did well on rebounds and, and, and pra, as I like to call it, points, rebounds, and assists. Uh, I don't put any value in this, but I do put value in the fact that anything that's over one and a half or over 2% EV for baseball, I should bet that. And then coupled with the fact that, you know, player strikeouts, I've put down a decent amount of bets. Um, so anything that's over 2% EV for player strikeouts, I'm, I'm definitely going to bet it, guys. Um, but that's that's really my main takeaway here is I'm going to bet some NFL player props this fall. And then for baseball, I'm probably just going to stick to player strikeouts right now. Um, maybe it's just kind of like, you know, hits allowed. Maybe it's the opposite where I just kind of got lucky, got on a little bit of a run. But um, those are my numbers so far this year. I can't tell you how insightful it was for me to look at my betting data this year so far. It just really helped me out a lot. And, you know, maybe I go and bet these player strikeouts and maybe I stink for the next couple of months. Right. And it doesn't work out for me. But or maybe I'm on to something. But, um, you know, I think it's very it's well worth your time after a few months to go in and take a look at your numbers, because you might find out that, like me, I shouldn't really bet player prop bets anymore unless it's like one or two really specific things. So, again, guys, that's the video. Um, you know, like I said, smash the thumbs up button if you like it. Leave a comment if you do or don't like this. And if you do like it, then make sure to subscribe because we're going to be talking about more different betting strategies and 
following along as how I progress or maybe regress this year. There's no guarantee I'm going to make money, but I like to think that I have an edge. It's going to work out for me, right? Link in the description, guys. If you want to sign up for Odds Jam, one week free trial, it's there. Also, you want to sign up for Odds Jam, use their tools, use my promo code Billy20. You're going to save 20% off for every month that you use Odds Jam. Helps me out tremendously. It lets Odds Jam know that I sent you there so that you're actually consuming my content. They know that, hey, Billy's pushing us to, to uh, Odds Jam. Um, but, you know, I just appreciate you guys stopping by. If you have any questions, you hit me up on Twitter, leave a comment. Let me know, guys. We'll catch you in the next video.